Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Paige, this is my Great Pyrenees Mellow, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I bathe my Great Pyrenees. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's talk about grooming tools I use for Mellow. So the first thing I use is this coat blower. I will make sure to link all these tools down below in the description in case you're interested. This coat blower helps get any like loose fur off and really helps blow them out, especially if I'm not going to bathe him that day. Highly recommend this. It helps get all the loose fur and dirt out even if you're not going to bathe your dog. It's the cat. So then tools that I use, this is our brush, regular brush, does have a little bit of hair in it. We use this <laughs> double coated rake. I love this double coated rake. It really helps get a lot of his undercoat out, him being an undercoat dog. And then I use this regular like wired slicker brush. And then I normally use a metal comb. I can't currently find my metal comb, but I will still link it down below. The flash is getting in the way. And then this is the deodorizing spray that I use. It is vanilla bean scent. And I got this from PetSmart. It's the brand Top Paws. So that's all the grooming supplies I use. And then to bathe him, I used Dawn dish soap. And then I also recently got a whitening shampoo that I also use for him. So the first thing I always do before bathing Mellow is I use my undercoated rake. I use this just to help break up any fur and any mats that he might have had form in his hair. And I do this before bathing him just so that I can get any extra hair off before I do put water on him. So after I'm done brushing him, this is basically what the yard looks like. There is pet hair everywhere, and this is exactly why I brush him before bathing him. I am then going to use my coat blower to get any dirt that is still stuck under his skin and any loose hair that I loosened up with the brush, and I'm going to just run the coat blower through his coat, which will help with that. So after I'm done getting as much hair as I can off of Mello, I am then going to start bathing him. Mello has to be bathed outside. He is way too big to fit in a bathtub, so we bathe him outside, which is why I always bathe him when it is at least 70 degrees. So once all of his fur is wet, we will then use Dawn dish soap. I recently also just got a whitening shampoo from PetSmart, but for this video I was just using Dawn. Dawn is dog friendly, you can use it on dogs, it shouldn't hurt them. Some dogs will have an allergic reaction to it, but most it should be safe and fine for. After I have finished putting soap all over his fur, which I do have to put a lot generally because he is such a big dog, I will then go ahead and proceed to rinse his fur out. When you are rinsing your dog out, make sure you get as much soap out. You want to make sure you get all the soap out of your dog's fur, that way they don't have an allergic reaction to it or their skin doesn't get irritated. Some dog's skin will get irritated if soap is still left on.
So once I've gotten all the soap out of his fur, I will then go ahead and use my coat blower again just to dry him. My coat blower has a heating setting and that's what I use to just try and dry him as much as possible. That way he is not getting the house completely soaking wet. So one thing I've noticed since blow drying Mellow, because normally I would just use a towel, but now that I've started to blow dry him, he almost becomes fluffier and kind of softer than he normally was. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's just something I have noticed since blow drying him. So after I'm done blow drying him to the best of my ability, he is still a little damp sometimes. I will then brush him out just to get any extra hair off. And then after I am done doing all of that, I will then take my deodorizing spray and I will just spray a little bit on him just so that he's not smelling like wet dog when he comes into the house. And that is how I bathe my Great Pyrenees. If you guys have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys next time.